the sun's like blasting in my face. Um, happy afternoon, Daily Family. We are in St. Augustine right now for a friend's wedding. Um, and Pat is just running into his, um, favorite distillery. Well, actually, I don't know. I don't know if it's his favorite distillery. But anyway, it's the distillery in St. Augustine. When we came here on our first anniversary, we went and visited the winery that's back there and the distillery that's over there. And, um... They had bourbon, I think, or whiskey in barrels, and it wasn't going to be ready for like three years or two years or something. Well, we signed up for their emails, and they emailed us maybe like several months ago saying that the whatever it was, either it was bourbon or whiskey, is ready. So Pat was like, okay, next time we go to St. Augustine, I gotta get me some of that. So he's running in real quick and he's grabbing some of that. And then we're gonna see if we can check into the hotel early. Um, the wedding is at 4.30. Um, I've kinda, I've, I did my hair and like the base of my makeup. I just have to put my eyeshadow on and my dress and then I'll be ready. So I came up fully prepared just in case we couldn't get into the hotel room. Anyway, I've been feeling kind of icky um, and I've been really, really thirsty and I've been getting like headaches really bad. And I think that the headaches are because I stopped drinking caffeine, um, which I did my last pregnancy. And uh, as soon as I found out I was pregnant, I just cold turkey ended caffeine. <sighs> yep, I just have to get used to it. I think I'll just eat a lot more fruit and the fruit sugar will help kind of um, get me energized. It's still really unbelievable. I'm still having a hard time wrapping my mind around it. Um, it's, <laughs> I don't know, like it's just really crazy to think that I'm pregnant right now. I think that we're gonna have a fun night and this is the first time that both Pat and I will be away from Grayson. So he's hanging out with his grandparents at our house and he's having a really good time. Um, and I think I'm gonna FaceTime him like right before he goes to bed so I can say goodnight to him. But Pat and I are really looking forward to just spending some time together and um, yeah, it should be fun. Can't wait for them to get off so they can get off. So. We made it to the hotel. They had early check-in, so that's good. Um, we're gonna try and find something to eat because I'm starving and I have a headache. Um, so the, the last room that was available to us was a um, handicap room. And we have like wide lanes. <laughs> <laughs> we have, uh, you know, because it's wheelchair accessible, but we have pretty much like everything in here is very spacious and wide open. Um, and then look at the bathroom. You could do cartwheels in this thing. It's great. Look how big it is. But obviously it's to fit, you know, a wheelchair or uh, some accessibility device. So here now and we are in the process of trying to find something to eat and then I think I'm gonna touch up my hair a little bit because some of the curls fell um, and yeah very exciting stuff I'm really excited what I'm gonna see what there is to eat it wasn't in there they didn't have like a is this their restaurant? Yeah. All right. Pat's locked out. Our door, our door thing doesn't work very well. You put the card in and it, our thing doesn't work very well. Pat went and got ice because he is going to try the bourbon that he got. This is the St. Augustine Distillery double oak barrel double cask bourbon but the way they describe it even if I could have a sip of that I I don't think I would because I know what bourbon tastes like and it to me it tastes gross but listen to this description of this nose deep and warm with notes of caramel dark fruit oak and dark chocolate 
taste. Full bodied, deep and complex, spicy at first, followed by toffee and dark winter fruit with hints of coffee and leather. This sounds amazing. This sounds like a candle I'd want to burn. Do the first taste test on camera. Can I smell it? Good. Yeah. All right, we are about to head out. Our Uber is on its way, and uh, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have Pat just film me real quick with my outfit. Actually, can you turn on that overhead light just real quick? Come stand next to me. This is my dress, and uh, yeah, I'm not gonna bring my camera because I didn't want to bring like a big, bulky thing. Um, I don't know, do you think I should bring my camera? It's up to you. I don't know. Okay, maybe I'll bring my camera. The day.